Okay, well, sorry you feel like they're excuses, but they're statistics. And, um, you know, I'm just putting it out there. And, um, anyways. So let me, let me just reiterate this point. My first, one of my first points I made that we're gonna have longer wait times. That's why I did the little illustration on the board. And Trin's asking, when do we do what Great Britain does? Well, that was part of your guys' argument, that if we did what they needed, what they are doing, it would be more beneficial for the United States. And I'm just trying to not sell you any lies and trying to give you reality that, hey, this isn't feasible, this is not going to work unless other things are contributing to this as well. Um, and yes, people are dying every day. 45,000 people dying because of lack of health insurance compared to 327 million people, that's less than 1% of our population. So, hey, it's not gonna account for everybody and it never will, you know, nothing is never gonna be 100% effective. And that's something that realistically we need to understand and um, it's doing its job because the majority of people do have health insurance. Like he told you, there is 10.4% um, people who don't have it, which is a small, a small amount in compared to 327 million people. So reiter reiterating the point that, you know, we're gonna have to wait longer to see a doctor. We're gonna have to wait longer for the care. We're basically, um, we're ba we are basically making it harder for us to get the care that we're, that we're trying to receive. And um, it would not be beneficial to the United States because of the population rate that we do have. Um, and let's see, even with, just, even with Canada, and he mentioned Canada, well, why would we even talk about Canada? Well, that was used in the speech as well. And with them, they still, two thirds of them still have coverage um, that they pay out of pocket associated with the um, insurance that they already receive. So that shows that their system isn't working as well. Um, let's see. And so I hope I made my point that universal health care isn't a huge contributor to the death or you, the lack of universal health care isn't a huge contributor to the death among U.S. citizens, and that universal health care still isn't doing its job in other places such as Great Britain because wait times are longer for a smaller amount of people, and that in um, Canada they still pay out of pocket two-thirds of their expenses. Um, and let's see... And that if we were to make lifestyle choices or different lifestyle choices, that we can potentially um, do better as a country for a longer lifespan. I mean, he mentioned that th that the lifespan of um, Great Britain is longer. I mean, by where is my statistics? I'm just going to leave that one alone. I'll, I'll let him have that one. But I mean, it's only I think a year difference. Um, anyways, but. Um, yeah, so I hope that I've come to you today with, you know, trying to give the reality of things that if we were to have a single-payer health system, that it would be more harmful than helpful. Thank you.